Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today I'm going to make a quick video on how to set up a fuse box um, body control module found in most GM vehicles or GM cars from like 2002 through like 2010-ish or so. Um, it's, you know, usually there's going to be the one that's going to be on the uh, passenger side kick panel area in the center console. It's the integrated fuse box body control module. This one's already been set up, but set up similar. I've had a lot of people ask me about these lately and how to set them up. And this is also similar to previous generation, like, um, oh, like an 01 Impala, something like that. Um, a Tech 2 will set it up, obviously, and all the Altel uh, will set it up. Snap on, not very good at the support. So, Altel Tech 2 is basically what I recommend for these. So, I'm going to kind of go through here quickly. <laughs> this is a 2007, it's a passenger vehicle. And it is a Chevrolet. And this is a VIN Z car. So we're gonna choose Z. We're gonna go to body. It's an automatic vehicle. Now, when you come in here, you're gonna go to uh, setup. Takes a minute, it's probably gonna air out here. All right, so we're gonna go body control module. And then we're gonna go down to module setup. Now this module is used, so the mileage is gonna be, uh, mileage and VIN will be stuck. You won't be able to uh, reset it up. But if you are setting up a new one, you can do the BCM copy and flash. Uh, Altel also supports this. Obviously you wanna have the original in first. Um, then you're gonna to go to setup, uh, let's see, setup SDM, no, 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 well, BCM setup right here. Uh, do you wanna configure? We're gonna say yes. See, hard to do with one hand and looking through the camera. So it's going to tell us that the VIN is locked in here and the mileage is locked because it's obviously this used module. You'll only be able to set up a VIN and miles in a brand new module for this particular style. So whatever miles is on here is what's going to show on the odometer. Okay, so at this screen, normally you'd get, um, uh, it'd ask you to input the mileage or it's going to ask for, um, to copy the mileage off the odometer. So it will ask you, is this mileage correct? So it's either going to pull the mileage off the odometer or you're going to have to manually input it at this point. So obviously this one's locked. So we're going to click OK. Uh, would you like to configure options? We're going to go ahead and just go through the options screen just so you can see what it's like. So this is a USA vehicle. If, you know, if there was something we were going to change, we would go down here and say uh, highlight Canada. But this is a USA vehicle, so we have our asterisks next to the USA, save our options, it's going to bring it to the next setup, uh, basically telling you how to set it up with the arrow keys, alright so basically you go through, you would look in your glove box, check the RPO codes, and whatever RPO, RPO codes you have, you would put the asterisk next to. Uh, obviously this car has 15 different configurable options, but we're not gonna go through them since it's already been set up. But you would you know, choose what it has, and then you would click Save Options. Now on a brand new BCM, when it gets to the end of the screen, so this is gonna tell us setup is complete. On a brand new BCM, it's probably gonna run you through the rest of these uh, BPP sensor. Then you'll have the SDM, uh, or set up the SDM part number in the BCM. Um, I can I could run it through all these, but they've already been completed. But you'll have to, uh, on a brand new setup, it should run you through them automatically. The only thing you'll have to do after that is you'll have to go back here. And let's go digital radio receiver. Or actually, let's go down to radio. So you have to go to radio. And then module setup. And then you're going to VIN relearn on the radio, which would unlock the radio. Because the radio will be locked after you replace the BCM. And then once that's done, I recommend clearing all the codes out of every module uh, since obviously you unplug the module put in a new module there'll be some lost communication codes stuff like that uh, go through all that and then you should be pretty much good to go after that but like I said in body control module after you do your setup you do your VIN right it'll ask you for the whole VIN or the last A of the VIN depending on the situation uh, I believe this particular style this 07 mile boost can ask for the entire VIN uh, previous, uh, the like, let's say, 01 Impala just comes to mind. I believe it only asked for the last eight, 
and then you have to go through and set up the options in that. But in this car, it's going to ask you for the whole VIN. And this did ask me to write the mileage in, not copy the mileage uh, from the cluster. I had a guy call about a Saturn Sky. The Saturn Sky, when you put in a new BCM, it should ask to copy the mileage uh, from, or it autom should automatically populate the mileage from the cluster. And then uh, you can just commit it. It will ask you if it's correct. I've never said it wasn't correct, so I don't know if you can modify it from that screen or not. I would imagine you could, but uh, it's going to read it from the cluster. Uh, so, like I said, module setup, and you will do your uh, uh, BPP sensor, the SDM primary key, or the SDM part number, known as a primary key, and you should be good after that. And like I said, clear all your codes, and uh, you should be good to go. So if you have one of these body control modules that is the fu integrated fuse block style, like I said, found in the uh, passenger wheel or passenger um, like uh, compartment uh, in the center console is usually where they're at. Um, like I said, it's integrated fuse box. Uh, this is the setup for it. So the couple things missing because obviously this one's already been set up. I've had a lot of people asking me how you set the particular style BCM up. There's no fancy programming for that. There's a couple, there are a couple. Um, couple exemptions to that rule but for the most part you can just set it up all through the tech 2 or an altel uh altel's the uh, we know the ms906 can do it the was it ds808 should do it as well but most altels will be able to set it up for you but if you have any questions comment below I'll do my best to answer them for you thanks have a great day hope you found this helpful